even before we officially get inside, there are a few animal habitats out here. Got a golden eagle. The lovely habitat. There's two of them. Next up, we got a blue and gold macaw. Hey, pretty bird. Munch on something. Hi. And we got an eastern box turtle and a gopher tortoise. Looks like both of them are inside their little house here. One guy there and a little box turtle just further in the back. There we go. Obviously the gopher tortoise is a lot bigger. Also right in the front you got a citron crested cockatoo. That's a pretty bird. All sorts of people to look at. Admission prices. Directly up front near the ticket center, you got stroller rentals. Price-wise. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And today I'm visiting the Hattiesburg Zoo. This is a small 12-acre zoo located in Kemper Park. So it's sometimes known as Kemper Park Zoo to the locals. They have a very nice setup here, all brand new African area that just opened, uh, I think a month or two ago. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. As you can see, I did get my hat. I got that at the gift shop right at the entrance. Here before you go in, there is a gift shop on the right hand side. Very busy day. Uh, unbeknownst to me, there is a uh, lots of school groups here. Uh, typically, they can be loud and obnoxious sometimes, but they also have people with them to keep them moving along. So, just shouldn't be too much difficulty in getting some good views of the animals. Very, very nice day. Looking forward to being here. Hopefully, I'll get to see everything. Uh, as soon as I find a map, I will show you. They're not giving out paper maps. So let's get started. All right, American alligators. All right, we got some baby alligators. See the alligators. See more of the alligators. Various sizes. You got a couple of them in the water. These guys got a really nice habitat. Move all around. Right in front of the train station. Ready to take off. We're gonna keep all hands clean of objects inside the train at all times. Do not touch the wooden fence as it goes by. Here we go on the train ride. First thing. Yeah, it's gonna be probably loud. There are school groups here today. The carousel. Thank you. 
new. It's all nice new wood. That's Experience Africa. It's your all new area. He squeaked and ran in the hole. 
That's a cute little one right there. You can see all the burrows, all the holes that they dig. There is a train going by. Train station is just other side of this tree right here. There's the one I scared. And he squeaked and ran that hole. Guy must be the lookout. Making sure everything is safe for everybody else. Got these bubble top domes here. The kids can go inside and stick their heads up. Right next to the Prairie Dogs restroom location. Right behind the Prairie Dogs, on the other side of the railroad tracks, we saw this from the train ride. This is the carousel. Now this is also an additional upcharge. Just like the train was $3, I think this is $3 as well. The Ashbury Discovery Center. And what we got here, we got flamingos. Ooh, there we go. The peacock just opened his feathers right in front of us. Yeah, we got a couple of female peacocks over here. So this guy is doing his dance to entice the females. Showing off his plumage and gyrating and vibrating his feathers. That's what I was saying, these are Chilean flamingos. I was not able to find a sign. Very nice looking birds. You see how he shakes. And there's the female right there. Inside where the flamingos stay at night, you got a black swan. Doesn't want to be outside at the moment, looks like. Got a Hoffman's two toed sloth. There he is, right here. There's nothing in here. Right there, right there. Right over there. We've got a prehensile tailed porcupine. Right here. Again, there's a lot of sun glare on these windows. A few birds in here, you got a blue fronted Amazon and a Vonder Deccan's hornbill. The hornbill's really neat looking. And here's the Amazon in the back. Again, I apologize for all of the reflection. Trying to block it with my, with my hat. There we go. All right, we got a speckled king snake. You see how he got his name. Got those little speckles all over them. Moving all around. Got a California king snake. There we go. All right, right by the entrance to South America, you got the Safari Grill. This is the menu board for this place. All right, so the first official area I'm going to is Asia. All right, Sumatran tiger. You can see the tiger sleeping like most kitty cats are all throughout the daytime. This guy's got a perfect spot, nicely shaded. Although right the flags along the trees. They call it Tibetan prayer flags. Another female peacock on the boardwalk. Gonna go around so I don't spook her. Hi. There's a tower that I climbed. Get a really good look of the Sumatran tiger. Looks very comfy up there. Oh, there's a nice breeze up here too. 
So the tiger has very nice habitat size-wise. Got some water and then a ball in there to play with. The information here about the tigers. This is nice, this whole area is on boardwalk. Get you a little bit higher view, just slightly. Another side view of the tiger habitat. Yeah, we got a red-tailed hawk. There we go, turn around for me. Hi, pretty birdie. Got cotton top tamarin. Oh, these guys are so cute and fuzzy. Look at that. I just saw another one ran to the back behind the bamboo. So I can't I can't show you the other one. This one's more adventurous. Got a broad winged hawk. They're staring at me. Hello. How are you today? I don't expect them to answer me, so don't think I'm crazy. I'm just being polite. All right, these two habitats here on the left are currently being renovated as there's no animals inside. Sign here says exhibit closed. Or I do see a goose. Right here next to the next to the water. It's a good sized goose. So this is the water that the goose is right next to. Now we saw the juvenile alligators. This body of water is home to the larger adult alligators. See this guy right down here. Now this green algae here is naturally occurring. This does not show signs of illness or being unkempt. This type of algae only grows in healthy bodies of water. However, for the alligators, it's not too bad for them. Got a guy here, I'm done. Sure, I totally missed. And the other one with just his head sticking up. Only drawback about the green algae is it makes it difficult to, to see the guys. But this guy comes out of the water. This is the train route that we took. And this is the adventure course. This is also an additional upcharge. It's the High Ropes Adventure Course. They also have mining expedition. All right, so I finally found a map that is Hattiesburg Zoo. See, future development while well, that is open. We'll be seeing that coming up. I'm right by the High Ropes Adventure Course. I'll walk my way around. Wow, that's a classic Dodge pickup truck right here. Oh, we got Wallaby Walkabout. All right, here we go. See some emu. And there's the emu. Pretty cool birds. I've got to feed these multiple times at different places I've gone to. They have very bristly type feathers. The big giant piggies they got in here are coon coon pigs. Got this lovely blonde piggy right here. But yeah, nice piggies. Here's the other larger of the two coon coon pigs. Very nice. I was just petting this guy a few moments ago. 
And of course, no wallaby walkabout would be complete without Bennett's wallaby. Yeah. And there's three wallaby in here. Yeah, this cute little one here, hanging out in the shade. Other two are in the back. Since you don't want to be interacting with people at the moment. Better view of both the piggies. Now I always recommend when interacting with animals at any facility, be sure to have your hands washed. Like if you eat or use a restroom, make sure your hands are washed before you touch the animals. And it's always advisable to wash your hands after touching animals. I'm gonna keep everybody healthy. Even though they don't have a hand washing station, they do have a sanitizing station, which I did use because I got to pet the animals. All right, this is my absolute favorite type of bird, laughing kookaburra. So I was checking out the laughing kookaburra's habitat. I didn't see them, but then I noticed the white box as it went around the other side. He's right inside. Now getting a view towards the other end is not going to work at the moment because of the way the sun is shining. So I'll check back later. All right, so this is the playground area that we saw from the train. On the other side of the railroad tracks, you got restroom locations. All right, South America. These two lovely birds. One almost fell over trying to walk up on the on the path right there. Another lovely body of water. Got some additional waterfowl enjoying the water. This is very helpful, general waterfowl. So I did find an additional sign regarding the general waterfowl. So now we can actually see the types of birds that are here. So we got a chicken hickory. Got three of them. As soon as I walked over here, I scared all three of them. I think I just startled them. I'm just showing you another view of their habitat from the boardwalk. Let me come back and get a better view of this nice fountain. See the chain tracks right on the other side. All right, we got a jaguar. The jaguar is right here. Laying down. So it's got a very nice looking habitat. Lots of stuff to climb on and lay in and relax. I got a black howler monkey. I'm up here in the little hammock. Now even though the one has blonde hair, as opposed to the other one next to it, they are both considered black hella monkeys. Also got a blue duiker. And right below the heller monkeys, you got two of the blue duikers. They're very cute little animals. And finally we got a blue and gold macaw. The blue and gold macaw are inside this box. And we got a giant anteater. This is his habitat. His name is Fred, according to the signage. And Fred is all the way in the back. There we go, now he's turning around. There we go. It was really cool to see these guys playing in the water. Getting his tootsies wet. And we got a lowland taper. There's a general waterfowl. Okay, this is not a lowland taper. 
that's in there with these general waterfowl. There's another uh, ducky. This is in fact a capybara. So evidently these guys can mingle between habitats. Find the lowland taper over on the other side. There's capybara. And alpaca. It's the alpaca. But that's the lowland taper going in the water. Hanging out with the alpaca. Yeah. And there's ducks and there's and there's a mallard. The lowland taper is enjoying that water. As I was saying, this is fact is the capybara. He's on this side. You got the other alpaca. And more assorted waterfowl. Very nice water feature for these guys. You guys being a little frisky right there. Very nice. There's a another black swan. Hang in the water again. Look all the paintings on the walls. Got a black and white rough lemur. And in there with them you got ringtail lemur. The black and white rough. Two ringtail lemurs. Like that you got a unicorn lounge chair in there for them to enjoy. My gosh, look how fuzzy that guy is. Oh, wow. Oh, super fuzzy. Super fuzzy. Oh, so fuzzy. These guys got a nice size habitat. You move all around and Another big old peacock up here. These guys do like to climb and be up high to get a lay of the land. All right, next up is the newest area of the zoo, Africa. We got Southern Ground Hornbill and Cape Porcupine. That's what I'm looking, and all I see right now is a Southern Ground Hornbill just inside. And I have to assume that's where the Cape Porcupine is as well. Because they're going to around noon time, so that's usually the hottest portion of the day. Zoo's open at 4, so I'll have plenty of time to come back. Hope to get a view of them for you. Got African Spurred Tortoise. As some of you may know, I have one of these at home. His name is Sheldon. He's a little bigger than this guy right here. But this one's equally cute. Also referred to as a Sulcata tortoise. But they're called African Spurred Tortoise because if you on the front of their limbs, you know, their legs, you use those spurs for digging. Got some Tunis sheep and Nigerian dwarf goat. More of the goats. Yeah, I want to go to the goats. Another goat goat. We got Fennec Fox. You see one of them in here sleeping. And their door to their outside habitat is open, so they have an option to go out or stay in. And this is the Fennec Fox outdoor area. There's actually one of them right behind here. So there's a lot of reflection. 
but he's inside this area here. All right, we saw Emi's, now we're gonna see Ostrich. We're gonna with the Ostrich, you got Grant's Zebra. Oh, it's your butt. And there is the ostrich. So I was waiting for. Hey, ostrich. Here we go. There he is. There's the ostrich. Do you need some water, Oliver? Do you need some water? Right, we got a serval. Serval's got a very, very nice looking habitat. It's over here in the grass. Better view. Very, very cute. A little bit larger than a typical house cat size. This is very nice. Love seeing all those nice brand new wood, all pristine new habitats. Right, we got some DeBraza's monkey and also a Dizian Columbus. Here's the other guys. These guys got a fantastic habitat. All sorts of stuff to climb on. All the way up. Even water to play in. All right, we got giraffe. There's all new giraffe area. All new giraffe house. Got a really good view of it from the train ride early on. If you look at this tree, all the leaves on the lower hanging branches are gone. As that's as high as these guys' tongue can reach. So all these branches below are going to be bald in this foreseeable future. See how high up that draft barn door is. Uh, it's spotted hyena. All right, so the spotted hyena is inside its cave. Hanging out, because it's a lot cooler in there, I'm sure, than it is out here, in the sun anyway. Very, very nice. I'm trying to get a little better view for you, like laying down sleeping. But you got a very nice habitat. More caves. All right, so I'm showing you the map again. It's a lot better type of map. The other one was a little bit faded. So I'm up in the African area. Trying to make sure I don't miss anything as I go through all the different pathways. We're up near the giraffe barn. All right, so from the food stand, there's a large covered seating area, small open air gift shop. This is their menu board. We are right next to where the giraffe yard is. And they have some, it's like African gray parrots. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. Got a really nice view of this black swan. How you doing? 
All right, so I'm back up front near the train station, which is essentially the front part of the zoo. I did my full walkthrough, going into all the different areas. Uh, there were a few places that I either didn't get to see the animal at all or didn't get too good of a view. So I'm gonna take this opportunity now to go back. I always recommend people when you visit a zoo or even an aquarium to go back at least once to the habitat that animal that you missed. Usually you get an opportunity to see them again later on in the day, primarily afternoon. A lot of the animals uh, start to take naps. So don't be discouraged if you don't see the animal the first time, go back again, like I'm gonna do right now. So I'm back at the cute little alligators again. I do love alligators, especially the little guys. Now we got a white nose kind of Monday. There he is. Very, very cute. What is they? White nose cut him on D. Oh, you got a YouTube camera. Back at the Chilean flamingo and uh, black swan enjoying the water. And of course, you got the male and female peafowl or peacock in the back. Back at the cotton top tamarin. We're up next to the next to the fence. Munching on something. All right, this little animal here is called a, a goatee. Uh, there's no signage for him, but I did ask one of the workers that I saw passing by. All right, we got a bearded dragon. A very nice bearded dragon. Well, there was nothing in this habitat earlier to walk by, now there's bunch of different chickens. I don't know if this is their normal habitat or if they're just in here because nothing else is in here temporarily. But they're just walking around doing chicken stuff. All right, so I came back to the Southern Ground Hornbill and Cape Porcupine habitat. Still no Cape Porcupine, but the Southern Ground Hornbill is out now. Guess it's still too hot for the Cape Porcupine to be out. But just in case you've never seen a Cape Porcupine, this is what they look like. We're enjoying the nice view of the zebra again. Don't normally get good shots of zebras, as you guys may know from my other zoo tours. We got two ostriches out now. I only saw a partial of the one earlier. Very nice. These are both female. You can tell by their dull brown plumage. Kind of like the peafowl. The females don't need to be all dolled up. The males usually have the nicer feathers because they have to attract the females, not the other way around. All right, so in with the ostrich and the zebra. You got a couple zebu. Zebu do not have their signs out, or I can't see them anywhere. But that's what these guys are. Hey. Alright, well the serval is in the same spot as Yay. was earlier. At least he's pointing this direction now. You do. Give itself a bath. Alright, so the helmeted guinea fowl is not out yet. They are still working on its habitat, but this is what they look like in case you've never seen one before. Back at the goat and sheep habitat, tuna sheep were not around earlier. They were, but they were in the back. So now you can see what the dwarf pygmy goats there are the tuna sheep. Came back to the black howler monkey. And they both curled up on this little shelf, having a nap. 
I came back to the jaguar habitat mm -hmm. and from where he was before now he's over here on his back or her back relaxing nice and stretched out also having a cat nap very gorgeous animal lovely waterfowl it's a nice breeze by the water a couple more geese enjoying the water and they got a baby with them too Yeah, a little gosling with them. And back to the Chacoan Peccary. Probably said incorrectly earlier. <laughs> One's kind of on its side with its leg up. All in the shade. Boy, now that the school groups have left, this place is a ghost town. Very quiet also. Cute little. All right, and finally I came back to the laughing kookaburra. And they are out of their little, little house. Hello, you gorgeous bird. Oh, there's a second one there. I didn't know there was two in here earlier. My absolute favorite zoo bird. For those of you that didn't know that. Hi, pretty birdie. You laugh for me? <laughs> God, that's terrible. See? Oh, God. I offended the bird. I offended the bird, went back inside. I'm sorry. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for my visit to the Hattiesburg Zoo. I had a fantastic time. There was only a few animals that I didn't get to see. I did show you the pictures of them. Other animals that I didn't get quite a good view the first time. Got a very good view this time. Uh, a few of the animals that I did mention did not have signage, so save you guys from asking questions about that. Not sure why, like the Zebu didn't have a sign up I, I did look all around their habitat didn't see one uh, very brand spanking new African area was fantastic really nice laid out uh, I enjoyed all the all the boardwalks like I said uh, I apologize if earlier uh, some of the areas were a bit loud a lot of school groups here although they may have been loud but they were you know well behaved they weren't just here running all over the place. They did have parent, you know, parents with them and school staff keeping them in check. Good thing about the school groups is they are usually pretty quick, move on to the different habitats. So I wasn't held up by any of that. So leave some comments down below what your favorite animal was that we saw today. Uh, as I told you guys uh, laughing kookaburro is my absolute favorite animal followed by the flamingos had both of those here uh, a couple of the animals were still sleeping the second time I went back such as the hyena so having the camera over the fence was as good it was gonna get so anyway I appreciate everybody this was uh, day one of this 2022 road trip I have about a six hour drive to my next destination which is Little Rock Arkansas so I'm gonna hit the road gonna be staying at a hotel tonight very very tired thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye